this is Corey Rogers. I'm with uh, National Equipment Dealers, and I'm standing next to Carlos Jerez. Uh, Carlos is the superintendent with Leo Terra, and we're on site at one of their job sites, and they're running their Bell. Uh, actually, we're doing a demo with their Bell um, B45Es, which are, are set up and configured with KTEC 1237s. Uh, we've got one with a train, and we've got another one with a single uh, 1237, and we've been taking pictures, talking to them, figuring out it's a little wet today, so it's not optimal conditions, but just trying to get a flavor for what they think about the machines working in this project. Uh, Carlos, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, how long you've been in the business, and, and, uh, and what do you do for Leo Terra? I come from the Dominican Republic, and um, I've been with Leo Terra for approximately two and a half months, but I come from the uh, heavy civil uh, with uh, NCDOT uh, project and uh, came over to help uh, Leo Terra do some of this work. Awesome. Uh, so what are your thoughts so far? I mean, obviously today isn't the most optimal conditions but with the rain that happened yesterday, but what are your thoughts so far about the Bell trucks pulling uh, the KTEC 1237's 37-yard uh, pan? We used them yesterday when it was a little drier conditions and they performed exceptionally. Uh, we were able to move a lot of dirt in a very short time, and I am very pleased to have them, and I, we intend to continue using them in the future. We got other projects where this will be moved to in the next week uh, once we get through with this one, um, but I am really, I'm really pleased with that performance. We have uh, Cole Stoughton uh, flew down from Canada to take part in this uh, demonstration, and uh, I'm going to get him on camera in a few minutes to talk to him a little bit about specifics on the KTEC 1237 model. Um, as far as uh, Leo Terra, tell us a little bit about what Leo Terra does here in North Carolina. Leo Terra is a development company. Um, they specialize in uh, buying, uh, developing, and building houses. They've been in co coordination with other construction companies in the building site, but they are developing most of the lots in, for sales and the roads and the utilities uh, on a turnkey project from clearing all the way to housing. And uh, asphalt, the asphalt division also is part of Leo Terra. So with someone of your experience, with as many years as you have working in this industry, what's most important when it comes to selecting a piece of equipment, uh, the dealership that you work through, what, what's most important to you? Uh, we have been doing a lot of research as to, for the kind of work that we do here now, um, is how fast and how effective we can be on the, on the projects that we, uh, that we approach. Um, we found out that these scrapers and this equipment that we get from National have been exceptional in terms of productivity. This is what we're looking for, moving the dirt uh, effectively and on a uh, uh, fast manner so that we can move to the other projects. Great. Well, we appreciate you letting us come out, and we appreciate your business so far, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing these work in better, more dry conditions <laughs> than yeah, what we're dealing do. with today. Yes. But uh, thanks for taking part in this. Thank you very much. So I'm standing here next to Cole Stoughton, who is from uh, Manitoba, yes, Canada. Yes, you bet. And Cole works in the marketing department with KTEC, and he uh, graciously came down to be a part of this demonstration with Leo Terra. Uh, uh, wish the weather had cooperated. I think he's going to stay over a couple more days and. Uh, uh, to where they can run these uh, full out, but uh, we really appreciate him being a part of this. And I wanted to talk to him a little bit about the technology behind us, uh, both the Bell B45E with the, with the KTEC uh, 1237 train, as well as the single that we're running, and some of the benefits and advantages of running their product off a, uh, a Bell truck chassis. So with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to Cole. So hi, my name is Cole Stoughton. I'm uh, the senior media designer and marketer at KTEC Earthmovers. We're based out of uh, Rose North, Canada. And um, what we do is we build uh, heavy duty scrapers like you see behind me here. And uh, for the construction and mining sites kind of around the world. So um, I've been with the company for about seven years now. Today we're on site with uh, Leo Terra. Uh, we're gonna be filming the 1237 ADT trains and as well as the 1237 single behind the bell truck. So we're out here with Ned and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So the, with the 1237 KTEC here, it's got about a 37 cubic yard heaped capacity. And um, 
it is hooked up to the Bell 45E, uh, the Arctic truck. So what we like about this setup here with the train and the 37 here is the uh, versatility you have from going from singles to, to uh, the train configuration, as you can see behind me. So with that, um, it's great for low ground pressure um, sites, like kind of like this one, as you see here today. Uh, with the extra flotation with the six wheel drive trucks that you got here, um, it's great for low ground pressure um, versus the traditional motor scrapers that you see running just four tires. Um, now that it has 10 tires, uh, the flotation you see is far superior. Uh, with the 37, once it's uh, in a tandem configuration, we call it the train configuration, it'll double its capacity to 74 cubic yards. Um, our next scraper that we have is a 1243. So that will uh, do up to 43 cubic yard heap capacity. Um, and that's uh, another scraper that Ned uh, is selling to a few customers as well. So uh, with the 43s, uh, we recommend hooking up to the Bell B50Es uh, and with the 37s, either a B40 or a B45. This partnership with Ned has been great because it's uh, allowed us to uh, start to develop our uh, relationship with Bell. Um, so far, uh, we, we kind of have an untapped territory out here in the Carolinas and uh, dealing with Bell and KTEC uh, has definitely opened up uh, a lot of possibilities uh, for the KTEC. The, the versatility with the Bell trucks and the KTEC scrapers here is, say you're on a job site where you actually do need a, a dump truck, uh, it, it only takes about six to eight hours to actually convert it back into a dump truck. So the versatility you have from using it from a scraper to a dump truck, depending on your site's conditions, uh, is, is vastly improved by having a, a KTEC behind it. So with, with Ned's customer out here, Leo Terra, uh, the way that they're configuring them right now is they have uh, one KTEC 1237 train, and then behind me here is the, the KTEC 1237 single. Um, looks like they're doing a residential project here. I think it's just under 100,000 cubic yards that they'll be moving. Um, for the trains, we do recommend a lar the, the KTEC 1237 ADT trains are recommended for long haul job sites um, where you're moving bulk earth. So for those projects, we kind of recommend up to a million cubic yards and up um, where the long haul is probably about a two mile long haul road is where they just shine. So but at the front of the cab here, we have a joystick uh, control system for the KTEC scraper. So what that allows you to do is control all the functions right there on the armrest. And then coming back down here, uh, we have a optional catwalk and fender system. So what that allows you to do is easily access the filtration system here on the KTEC scraper and to the hydraulics. So with the uh, additional fenders here, that is an option. Uh, what this allows, of course, is uh, in wet conditions, it just keeps the, the ground from uh, not splashing up onto the KTEC scraper. So, uh, with that option, we'll move back over here down to the front of the scraper here. So here we have our transport stands just behind the ADT neck. That's great for transporting uh, in between job sites on RGNs or flatbed trucks. Below that is the cutting edge. Um, it's about a 12 foot wide cut for the cutting edge. And then with the extra router bits, it actually goes to about almost 14 feet. So. Um, lots of room for cutting it on a big job site like you see here behind me. So coming along here, uh, past the sidewalls, if you look inside of the bowl here, this will be able to heap up to 37 cubic yards of material. And this ejector will push out all that material nice and smoothly uh, in front of our large gate system as you see here. There are di uh, additional uh, cutting edge configurations Right now we have the drop center bit in. You can get a straight flat uh, uh, blade. And what that allows is uh, a nice smooth finish on the grade. Uh, you can also get serrated edges to help uh, break up the material a little nicer. So coming back to the rear here, you'll see four 26.5 R25 tires. This is uh, the, the only op the, the option that we uh, provide on the KTEC 1237 uh, scrapers. Uh, with that, we also have the mud scrapers and the rock picks. These can be removed or um, changed posi position depending on uh, your job site uh, specifications. 
Uh, what the four tires allow is is a nice smooth ride over uh, wet job site conditions like you see here. Compared to a traditional motor scraper, which only runs two tires, here you'll be able to float over uh, low ground pressure job sites like you see here. Um, and then on the tail here, a new uh, addition that we added was these tie rods just for extra strength, uh, just in, uh, behind the push bar that you see here. So with the, the KTEC 1237, it is a, a great self-loading machine. We, can, we only recommend push loading in really sticky situations. So uh, I just wanted to finish off by saying uh, the Bell B45E is a great power unit compared to a traditional motor scraper because it is a single uh, engine truck. So, so when you compare that to a twin engine motor scraper, you'll be saving uh, your fuel costs almost get cut in half. So. This is a great uh, machine for, especially with the fuel prices going up these days, um, this will cut your fuel costs down almost by half. So if you guys need any more information about the Bell KTEC combination here that you see behind me, feel free to visit nedealers.com or ktech.com. Thank you very much.